Hey everybody, David here, and today I'm going to be talking about The Flash, Season 4, Episode 7, Therefore I Am, uh, and let's get right into this episode. Uh, it takes place exactly where last week left off. We see Barry and Joe at DeVoe's place, at his home, where he lives comfortably, and... Um, we kind of get a lot of flashbacks in this episode centering on DeVoe. Uh, there was a couple of theories I had last week, a theory I had last week, where I was um, thinking to myself, what if this isn't really DeVoe? What if this is DeVoe from the present day and the DeVoe that we'll see eventually find out in this episode is actually from the future? And it looks like, no, this is actually DeVoe. Uh, so then how is he looking like the Borg from Star Trek in one time, in one moment and now looking normal the next? Well, apparently this whole device thing, uh, is something that's actually keeping him alive because he's actually dying without this, this technology that him and his wife built that he thought of and his wife built. Um, that's what's actually keeping him alive. And uh, we learn how he got his powers, obviously from the Particle Accelerator back in Season 1. Uh, I really actually like that Harrison Wells, uh, or should I say Eobard Thawn, was back into play in this one. Because remember, Season 1, that was not Harrison Wells. The real Harrison Wells had died, and Eobard Thawn had taken over. So I actually like that they tied it back in, and... Once Harris or uh, Eobard Thawn learned that DeVoe was there in the crowd along with everybody else, uh, he kind of, he was like, hmm, DeVoe, interesting, you know, he kind of knew that name and was very excited at what was going to uh, happen because he knew that uh, DeVoe was going to play a very important part in Barry's future, which is obviously right now. Uh, so I actually like that they tied it back into the pilot episode. Uh, I don't like it when they do that all the time with metahumans, but this one was a, a special one that I think uh, needed to. Uh, so it, that was really uh, nicely done, I thought, the way they integrated it. In, like they even used some of the pilot footage. Uh, so the only thing that kind of bothered me was that uh, they said January 7th was when that all went down. Uh, but if I remember correctly, wasn't Barry, I, and let, I, I guess it was near that time, right? When Barry went, was on Arrow, uh, that was during Arrow season two. So, um, and I know it was Christmas, it, it was a Christmas themed episode, uh, when that Arrow episode happened. So I guess a couple, uh, weeks went by and then that's when that event happened. Uh, I always thought it was on the same day as uh, around Christmas time, but I guess not. Um, with that being said, though, that's that's just a little continuity thing that I was thinking about. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the date is right. Maybe that was maybe it did happen a couple weeks later. Um, and then we, I, I really like the flashbacks that we got of Devoe and learning how he got his powers and how uh, his powers are starting to affect him. Um, that we saw, okay, yeah, he's getting smarter. And you kind of sympathize for him a little bit because he wanted to, he made this great point where he was at the doctor's office after talking to the doctor, how he wanted to use his intellect for good, unlike some of the other metahumans out there who use their powers for evil, like the guy with the tornado powers, who I think that was like a reference to the very first uh, weather wizard from the pilot. Uh, as well as another metahuman, which I forgot right now. But uh, it sounded like, you know, he, he wanted to do this good with his intellect. But then when he started losing this, he started getting weaker and he realized he was dying. I think he let the anger take over him and now he's using it uh, to get revenge on the world. Uh, maybe I think there's still a lot more they're going to reveal to us like what his plan is like what is this all leading up to but my hopes and expectations on the character so far have been met with this episode this is the episode I've been waiting for to happen this is the episode I really really wanted 
uh, since episode one. Uh, we've had some good episodes, so but we've also had some not so great episodes. This is the episode I think is the best of the season so far because it, it finally given us something to look forward to now for the rest of the season. And I hope they give us a little bit more, not like just here and there as the season goes on. Like, you need to have this and keep the momentum going. Obviously, next week is the crossover. So we'll give them a little leeway on that because the crossovers are so much fun. But hopefully after we return, like, what is the Christmas, uh, the, the, the mid-season finale going to be like? What is that going to give us? Is that going to give us anything on DeVoe or something else? Uh, I hope it gets back on track on the DeVoe stuff because I'm now 100% on board with this villain. Uh, his, his, um, off, his, his, uh, what am I, his standoff against Barry I thought was really good. His mind games that he's playing, uh, even getting him in trouble with Captain Singh I thought was really, uh, very cool. And like people were, like all of Barry's friends were starting to think, uh, I think Barry's going a little crazy here because it did seem like he was stalking them, but Barry's instincts told him, no, I know something is wrong with this guy. I know something is up. So that's what made it even cooler when I thought he confronted DeVoe that last time, that last scene in the school. Um, it's like, come on. You, you know you know that I know something's up. And the guy just reveals it. Who's this talking? Is it Barry Allen or is it The Flash? And I like that, okay, that confirmed right there. No, he's play, he's been playing mind games. Even I was starting to feel worried for Barry. Like, maybe there's something else here that's just making Barry go insane. But you can see Barry wasn't letting it go. And that might be a downfall of his eventually. Like, yeah, Iris and Barry are getting married next week. But I have a feeling something's going to be... Something's going to tear them apart by the end of it. I'm kind of worried about that because... I don't want romantic drama on my CW shows. I'm I'm way past the time of Smallville. I'm ready for like good drama. Like CW needs to start growing up, getting away from that teenage drama, and let's get like real adult problems here. And or okay, the superhero problems here. The the problems that superhero needs in their lives. And that's what I thought was really what well done in this episode this was giving barry a challenge and was giving us a taste of what this character is going to be doing to him i felt so uh all in all i thought this was a really in really good episode i thought it was really solid really strong um and it has me pumped up for the rest of the season hopefully they can keep that momentum uh going so with that being said, guys, I hope you comment below if you've seen the episode. Tell me your thoughts, theories, anything uh, in the comment section below. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this episode. That's all I can pretty much say. So next week is the crossover. I will be doing a review on Monday and Tuesday for not just Arrow and Flash, but for Supergirl and Legends as well. I'm going to combine Arrow and Supergirl uh, the first night, and then I'm going to combine flash and legends the second night in one or two videos <laughs> uh, two videos one for monday one for tuesday so uh that's how i'm gonna do flash and arrow next week on combining them with the other uh shows so until then can't wait crisis on infinite uh in if you know what i'm saying uh crisis on many earths uh and until next time until next week Watch my Arrow review on uh, Thursday. Take care.